So it's a bright spring day and I'm out and about again. Uh, it's, uh, I love these little cinema trips I get to go on, uh, meeting the good people of the Rossendale Valley. And uh, today I've come to Waterford. Uh, so the traffic you can hear in the background is, uh, is uh, uh, people going about their daily business. But I am about to go into the Horse and Bamboo Theatre, formerly known as The Boo, to meet everybody inside to find out more about their movie night. See you in there. So we've moved inside the horse and bamboo now and I'm sat with, well, I'm currently sat with Jen Trasui, uh, but it's not going to stay that way, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. No, I'm, I'm two weeks from getting married. So yeah, then I'm changing to Jen Camilleri. So that's, uh, that's all I'm thinking about at the moment. <laughs> Just count it down, count it down. <laughs> you don't want to be hassled with interviews at this time of day. Uh, congratulations on the upcoming wedding. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call you Jen just, for the, just to keep things nice and simple. Um, now, of course, uh, you've got a role here at Horse and Bamboo. What, what, what do you do here? Uh, I'm the executive producer here at Horse and Bamboo. Excellent. So that covers everything in terms of the, um, you know, the theatre work, the spoken word that goes on, the music and things like that. Uh, but also, of course, the movie nights. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, my job's a little bit of everything. So, um, yeah, quite a lot of programming, like you said, um, that we do, we do all sorts at the venue. And also at Horse and Bamboo, we do a lot of artist development. Um, we run the Waterfoot Wakes Festival in the summer. Uh, and yeah just a whole a whole host of different things going on that happens up and up and down the building so it is it's a building with a rich history and uh, and there's uh, I, I mean I'm surrounded by some of the puppets of shows past as well and you know there's you know there's guitars on the wall this is a, a real this is a proper arts venue isn't it yeah yeah absolutely yeah we we've got 46 years of history in the building big big shoulders to to stand on really it's a, it's a fantastic archive that we are we're working on opening to the public more and getting um you know more accessible to everyone mm. and one of those things is the movie night now obviously that's our that's our bag here on the midweek movie show um and how did that come about and what's what's been the, the, the sort of take up for it and obviously we've had you know we had covid in the middle of everything how, how have things been going with it the movie nights have been really great so they've been running for quite a long time and say for maybe two years previous to kind of our 2020 closure we'd started to create a regular evening film night it was a little bit sporadic some family some evening events before whereas um, now we have switched to every first Tuesday of the month at 7 30 p.m we are showing um showing a film mm. so um yeah it, I think it had been running for maybe it was maybe it was just a year before then we closed in 2020 and then I think we've I think it was September 21 where we've picked it back up again and we, we've got back into the regular programming for it. And, it, and it's going well. It, um, we have a real mix of different films on. So we've got documentaries, dramas, comedies. We, we like a lot of British comedy. We like a lot of music documentaries. They go down really well with our audiences here. But we, we try and mix it up every month. That's the thing is that we can, you know, we can go to, you know, travel 20 miles and go to the nearest multiplex or whatever, and you'll get, you know, Morbius and you'll get some big blockbuster that, that happens to be out at the moment. But this is a chance to celebrate some of those films, maybe an indie film or, or maybe, as you say, sort of British made cinema that we probably wouldn't see in a mainstream theatre. Yeah, absolutely. With, particularly with the film nights, we actually have a film club that are the people that are picking um, the films that we put on each month. We really want it to be for the community um, and run by the community. So um, it, that's kind of how we get kind of the mix of films and that's how we're deciding which titles are the ones that are shown. Um, and and it, it's a completely different experience to what you're getting at your bigger cinemas. Um, it's it's really relaxed experience. You can come, you can have a drink, um, you can sit in the bar for an hour before, um, have a chat. We, we always try it. Maybe add um, a little bit more added value to quite a lot of our films as well, which I can talk to you when we kind of talk about the different films that we've got on the, for the next season. So... Well, indeed, yeah. the next season has just been announced uh, and uh, there's, there's plenty to look at. And one of the films I've spotted uh, is one of our favourite films of the, the year so far is Phantom of the Open. Uh, now, I mean, this is a, that's, that's quite a, a strange tale, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it, it's just such a fascinating, uh, a fascinating film and I can't wait to see it as well. It'll be, it'll be amazing. Oh, I, I was going to say, I was, I'm, I'm going to have to be careful what I say. No spoilers. Yeah, no, I didn't yeah. realise you hadn't seen it yet. <laughs> uh, well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll play you a song from the film now uh, and then we'll have a chat again uh, on the other side of this.